What's going on guys? Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Entertainment back today taking a look at some more cases. Now these cases are from Ariba cases and they have the typical bag tag spot that you're seeing on all of Ariba cases bags um, which is perfect if you guys do not know um, with the bag you'll get a little card to uh, go on their website, send them an email, send them your information for a free bag tag. Um, with any bag tag purchase. Basically, you can put your logo, your company info on there and slide it right into this slot. And it just kind of helps you know which bags are yours. Um, it's kind of like a luggage tag. Uh, if you go to the airport, you always put one of those on your bag or something like that in case it gets lost or stolen, something like that. But you could also put business cards behind this bag tag. So in case someone comes up to you and asks you for a business card, you don't happen to have one on you, you could just look for the nearest bag and have some business cards in it. So that's what I do. Just figured I'd share that tip with you guys. But today's bag, I actually have two of them here, and there's like three more on the shelves behind me. Um, I love this bag in particular because you can use it for so many things. So this is the Ariba Cases AC410. So the 410 is a rectangular case with a long top that opens up, which is nice. It makes it for easy loading of whatever you're putting in it. It's got a little pouch on the front, which is perfect for accessories or short, small cables, something like that, um, that goes with the item you're putting inside or business cards or whatever you wanna put up there as well. It also comes with three dividers. So these foam dividers can go inside and allow you to divide up the case if you're putting maybe multiple lighting fixtures in there or if you're putting uh, cables or something like that. So speaking of cables, I wanna discuss why I love these bags so much, um, this model in particular. There's also a 412, which is a little bit larger, but the same concept. So the 412 is perfect for cables. That's what I use for all my cables. Um, but I do also use the 410s for uh, DMX cables and cables that I have less of than like my audio cables. So the 410s are a little bit smaller, really not by much, but a few inches. Um, and it definitely makes a difference as far as fitting gear. Um, so let's talk about that. So in this case here, I have a speaker. This is a Samsung Auro D210. It's a small 10 inch powered speaker. Um, I really only use it for maybe like a cocktail hour or a stage monitor. So I wanna show you the speaker itself. This is what it looks like. Any probably 10 inch speaker should fit in here. Um, you know, whether it's a like a K10 or something like that should fit as well. Uh, if you visit like a local retailer, you might be able to see if it fits exactly and they might let you try it out or visit a Reba Cases website. Um, you could check out their fitting guide and see the exact dimensions to see if it'll fit inside. But this one just actually happened to fit. So I've got two of these speakers in these bags. As you can see, it goes in very easy. I could do this. I could throw a power cable and like an iPod cable up here and I'm good to go. This is my ceremony setup, or, or my uh, cocktail hour setup, excuse me. So all I need in addition to this is a tripod and like an iPod. So that's pretty cool. And again, you've got your handles with your Velcro straps, so you can put them together and e easily grab this case. Uh, on the bottom, you've got two hard, um, I forget what they call them exactly, but they're hard kind of rubber feet on the bags, which is nice if you're putting them down, protects them from getting ripped and allows them to slide a little easier too uh, if you're like loading them into a van or something like that. So that's the speaker. The other use that I use it for is actually my lights. So I've got Freedom Pars in here. They're the uh, Chauvet Freedom Par Hex 4s and I have six of them in here. They literally fit two next to each other perfectly and there's three rows of them. So if you guys have Freedom Pars and you're not looking to go row cases, you just want small bags to transport them, this is perfect to hold six lights all in this one bag. You could throw cables in the top. Uh, you could leave the cables linked together so you could charge them right in this case just by opening this and then plug it in. Um, and then you've got your front pouch. So if you want to put uh, like a C-clamp in there or just some extra power cables or whatever. So that's the second use I use it for. And the third use, like I said, back here, um, this one right here actually, you'll see has cables in it. So I've got the dividers in it and I've got tons of cables in it. So that I'm sure is not all you can use this model bag for. Um, I'm sure you can use it 
uh, come up with a million different things you could use it for um, as far as your gear and stuff. So definitely visit Ariba Case's website to check out this bag in particular and other bags from their line as well. They just released a new series from NAM actually, which is their ad mix series, I believe. Um, I just saw some videos on that and uh, hopefully we'll have one of those soon to show you guys uh, maybe some of the differences between these bags and the ad mix series. So once again, the Ariba Case's AC 410 bag and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.